Hey guys, how you doing? So to chat to me guys, you've got to use the um, chat box and click all panelists and attendees, okay? It can just uh, see on the chat, just let me know you can hear me and also you can see the screen. Thank you, Dustin. Good, good, good. Thank you very much, guys. Just give it a couple more minutes, we'll get going. Wow. The Dow's just took a massive move up. So let me know in the chat who has actually got the roller coaster indicator right now. Remember this, these sessions are here to support you. Midnight here my time, so we'll be half an hour, 40 minutes, get this done. Let me know if you've got the roller coaster indicator suite or you're just checking it out right now. <clears throat> Okay, bit of a weird time to do this for me because it's midnight, but uh, hopefully we get a bigger audience. Okay, James, Richard. It takes some mastering, I must admit, um, and this is why we're doing these sessions, but also to let you guys know, we are beta testing right now the... Um, smart list so it gives you the signals so let me just show you where that is um show you what i'm doing where is it there it is okay okay so we've just had the changeover there's no data at the moment but we are trialing uh the um Go bigger time frame and you'll see it. I'm trying the smart list to give you signals because it's uh, it's well and good saying this is a great indicator suite, but you need to understand when the signals are coming in and get alerted to those. Uh, and that's what we're doing right now. Um, myself and my inner circle are beta testing the smart list for futures um, for the roller coaster. So whether it's the one minute, the two, the three, the five, the 15, the 30, or the 60 minute time frame, we're getting those signals through, but also it then gives you where that trading stop is as well. Uh, because sometimes it's difficult to uh, keep an eye on lots of charts. Even if I've got a lot of screens like me, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to try and get to, um, you know, to see all of those particular signals as they come through. So hence we're doing this. Yes. We are getting there, Gary. I know you're a mega member, so you get it free straight away as soon as we launch it. But it is, <clears throat> we are in beta testing right now, and we are looking to launch before, uh, well, at the beginning of May. Um, really, really excited about that. It's taken a lot of work. It's not easy, but we are good. Hi, Daryl. How you doing? Long time since Kansas. Okay. So just to remind you guys, the roller coaster is a hybrid, um, really. Um, you've got the standard stochastic MACD cross, um, but what's different is you've got the three points of control to give you uh, an even higher probability. Now, uh, the one thing you have to do, like with anything, and some of you have attended live training with me uh, in Kansas, in Houston, in California quite a while ago uh, and then New York um, 
one of the things we've got to do is frame the chart, see where our support and resistance zones are, okay? These are very, very important to make sure we've got some fresh air. So uh, today, just wanted to go through a 15 minute signal on gold. Didn't get all of this, but I traded quite a, quite a bit of it here. So just want to talk about, now one thing, I don't, we really don't want the questions to say, Paul's got this version on here, I haven't got that version. I trial different versions and different little tweaks every single week, guys. You will get an update on any of the indicator suites when they are ready to be published. Right now, everybody has the updated version. Whatever you see on my screen might have slight little tweaks and I'm trying that stuff. So be, be, please be aware whether you've got Elliott Wave, Bits or Roller Coaster, everybody will get updated versions when they are released. Okay, <clears throat> so this is gold. Been, been traded gold quite a lot. Uh, we did quite a, quite a good uh, trade on gold today. Uh, my last trading day of the week, so I don't trade uh, Fridays. Uh, so we had the New York Open here, tested the highs, then came back down, okay? So I just want to highlight this here. I'm going to use the annotation tool. Going to draw a little rectangle there. So this was the entry just here, the green, okay? So this was the New York Open. This is the 15 minute time frame. That's the range of that first candle, okay? Tested the highs, didn't like it, came low again, okay? We got lots and lots of um, support resistance way, way down below because we've gone pretty high on this, okay? Pretty high. So this is the next sort of support level. We did get the open and close ranges here. So this. This is a problem. You see how it bounced off here when we triggered there? Let me just move that back across through there. So we did get that move up. So there was a little bit of a bounce, came back up. We actually took this trade uh, on the trigger. As soon as it hit the um, this support resistance zone here, we got out, okay? So that's one of those things we looked at here. We didn't wait for there, but then there was another entry when we came back through. So sensibly, okay, we traded the scalp, it moved really quickly, it came down, we took the profit, we moved back up again. We're looking at the behavior here. You see how, I'm gonna, I'm gonna annotate this again here. Got a new toy now, you see, that's what it is. Let me go yellow, I'm gonna go, in the circle, you see this high here and this high here. This is no coincidence that these two found resistance. This one first, when this one did it again, you should be looking for another entry coming through here, which it did. So we got that first one, took profit, it came back up, it found resistance at a previous resistance zone from the same day, from earlier in the European morning. Came back down, came through that entry, go again. Then it just goes for hell for leather. You either take the profit again here, okay, at that same point, or you make it risk-free and just trail it down here. So this entry was 1757. The trading stop was taken out at 17.37. That's a big trade, okay? A really big trade. If it's too big for some of you, uh, go to the micros, okay? Just trade two of the micros. Don't risk too much, but if you get a long runner, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 ticks, it's a decent looking trade. Absolutely, Steve, yeah. And head and shoulders. You can enter going through this level as well. Remember, the first trade that we traded today, I, I like the opening first hour for me. I really like to trade that. And when you get a signal like this, we go. As soon as it hits that, I get out. That's my first trade of the day, if you like. Uh, and we had, a, we had a decent move there. We scalped that one. But this one here, if you didn't want to uh, go back through here, if it broke this support zone here, you could have still taken the trade 
and use the trading stock positions of the roller coaster to manage your trade there, okay? So let it go through the support level first, Gary, just here. Okay, is that my, bear with me a second. Let's just move that off. I think now we've got some data coming through because we have the data switch. I just want to see if that, yes, it is. Okay, so this is what we're, we're looking at right now. Let's just get rid of all those annotations. Okay, I'm going to go clear all. Okay, so this is the watch list we're trialing right now. Okay, um, so it's just giving me a long signal on the two minute for 6S. You've got one minute in there as well. <clears throat> You've got three minute, five minutes. So we've got all of those going off right now. Uh, again, you wouldn't be trading any of these right now because we've just had the big gap and the changeover. Uh, but that that is starting to fill now. So if we went to 6S on the two minutes, Yeah, we're, we obviously we've just we've just changed the data's just changed, but that's where it is right now. Look, okay, that long, but then this is not a great time to trade. <laughs> so again, it's all about finding that support and resistance. Now, one thing I have been trading a lot of uh, on gold recently is one minutes as well. So if I bring the one minute over bring it over during to the normal session. These are great scalps, okay? That just think or swim just settle down. Right, so where are we? Okay, so this same move we, we saw on the 15 minute, this was the one minute. So this gives you a slightly better uh, risk to reward, if you like, on the one minute. Okay, so we get that stop at 1768, the entry at 1763, still 500 bucks. If that's if 500 bucks is too much of a risk for you, uh, you could just go, uh, you know, if you went five uh, micro contracts, that would be 250 bucks. Okay, uh, and then just you know, you can do the math there, make it simpler for you. But again, great looking trade. We know it's just worked because we've had a long coming up there. Uh, this is European lunchtime, nice long and then short. Follow the trading stop, okay? This was 63.4 entry and on the one minute, 54, okay? So very, very nice trade. <clears throat> but... If you're trading off the one minute, you have to be patient. At every single candle that closes, the trading stock position gets printed. You have to make sure you adjust your trading stock down. This is a big move on gold on the one minute, and it happens, okay? Oil's not worth looking at at the moment because that's very rangy. Let me just close those off. Let me look at 6B. Trevor, like I said, I'm trialing a lot of stuff, yeah. So 6B, one of my favorites to trade. Five minute, this was the trade of the day here. Okay, so scenario, we've got support resistance zones in here. And if you're a member of the 5K Club, you will get those for free every week. I do these. These are very sticky, okay? So what you've got to think of with 6B is we get this uh, entry. This was the open at 3.30 p.m. of the U.S. market for me. This is my time, okay? And then this is the entry here. Now, if you don't want to go on that entry because you're in that support resistance zone, okay, one of the things to work out is... What's my stop for the roller coaster signal? If I want to go below this level to here, want to break out, what's my risk to reward? It's still 1 to 1.6 to the next support and resistance zone. 
Great looking trade if I want to be conservative and wait until it breaks out of this support zone. I can wait because I've got enough risk to reward to do that. Yes. Does that make sense? These zones, look at how it bounced off this zone, guys. It's just a zone on a chart, but I've been doing this a lot of years, and these are very sticky zones that I put on here. I can't write an algorithm because it's by eye, and that's why I put them uh, in a spreadsheet every week for 5K Club. Um, okay, as soon as the signal has printed, you can enter the trade, Trevor. So it printed on this candle here, so as soon as it prints, you can enter the trade at one, two, four, nine, six. Okay. Me personally, <coughs> this type of trade, excuse me, I've still got a bit of a cough. Me personally, I, 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 you know, wait until it gets through the support. Maybe even get through this pivot point here because this was a rejection. Okay. So again, it's easy to, to, to look back and to say, this is what I would have done. Uh, most only only 12 or 13 of, uh, of you actually trade live with me every day in my inner circle. Um, but again, the, the decisions are different every single day for every single trade. One of the key things that I look at of these linear support and resistance zones, I do look at channels as well. But if I'm day trading futures and I'm using the roller coaster, and this is what this webinar is about tonight, I just basically I'm looking at support resistance zones, overnight highs, overnight lows. Uh, what is the dollar doing? If I'm if I'm tracing, if I'm trading six B, okay, the dollar should be shooting up if this is going down. Okay, if this is going down, just recently, just lately, ES is going down as well. So if ES is moving down, we're going down on six B. It's a good trade. Those correlations are very very um, important. Uh, it's not very, uh, it's, uh, Daryl, it's not, but it doesn't use a lot of the resources. The algorithm works everything out in the background. It's not printing a great deal on there. Um, I don't know. Do you use uh, a trade station? I don't know. I know people viewed on trade station and usually we do get complaints about trade station, but no one's complained about it. Uh, I mean, if you got it for trading view, for example, you can use, Trade Station brokerage and data on TradingView as well, so that is a that, that's an option as well. But as you notice, I don't you, you don't have all of the indicator suites on the same chart. Matt, this chart, okay, everything you see on my chart is not available for everybody right now because some of it is trials, okay. Some of, this is, some of this is just to help me when I see when the London Open is the New York Open. Gives me some support and resistance zones. These yellow zones and these blue zones are on my chart because I put them on there and then I share in the 5K club every single zone that I'm looking at on these futures contracts. 5K club is $60 a year and you get all these to put on your chart. If I bring the 60 minute chart over, which I work on. To do these levels, and I zoom out. How sticky are these levels? Okay, yeah. And these levels have been on, and I keep adding the yellow and new ones. You see here, new ones really sticky today. Um, you know, these are all on a spreadsheet in the five K club. Re I mean, it is. Um, you know. It's $60 a year for all of these futures levels. It's not rocket science. I, tr I teach people this in my live training events. Uh, but if you can't turn up, you know, I, I do it for you I, in the 5K club. Okay, when I go to the 5K club on uh, the website. the levels are in a spreadsheet, so you can put them on anything. Okay, so if I go to the 5K Club and I download the spreadsheet right now, I, it probably won't open up because I'm actually um, in uh, Excel, couldn't start in safe mode. Do you want to start in safe mode? Yeah, okay. 
These are all the levels, okay? All you've got to do is plug them into your chart and leave them there. If there's any changes, if the new is in yellow, if it's in orange, it's there. Uh, if it's extended, in other words, it's a good one, I'll leave them there. Okay, it's part of the 5K club. I can't, I can't make it any simple. I can't communicate it any easier than having it in the 5K club and having all of these levels. Each one of these is a zone. Okay, orange are newish but still being tested, yellow and tested, and I update it every single week. And all you need to do is spend time. Once most of them are on, all you've got to do is extend them to the right unless I take them off. And that's all you need to do. 5K Club on the website, $60 a year. It's nothing uh, for these levels. They are very, very crucial. Does that ask your question, Matt? So you can put them on anything. You can put them on Ninja, you can put them on TradingView, uh, Think or Swim. It doesn't really matter. I put them in a spreadsheet. No problem. So this is a 60 minute. Let's go back off this a second. Okay, I'm going to do a, a, a few more on futures. Then I'm going to go to stocks because we've got now the stock scanner as well. So we want to we want to look at that. I did do a webinar on that the other night, but we are going to look at a few stocks as well. Um, I really like that gap up there. That is amazing. Okay, so what else did I trade today? We did ES. We did ES and um, YM today. Where are those? Yeah. Can't see for the wood for the trees here. Did I delete it by mistake? Probably. That's a big gap up there. Holy moly. That is amazing. Some stocks are doing great at the moment. I just wanted to look at the ES there. That is really, really great. Good looking trade. But again, it's about finding the groove. Which time frame, um, you know, is in the groove for what futures around, you know, on the, on the time on the day that you're trading, how's it been performing? What's it doing? You know, today, for example, ES really was performing on the one minute. I have my one, two, three, five, fifteen going all the time. We're trialing this um, smart list, so it's giving the signals. I mean, this one minute signal. Look, let's, let's talk again, Daryl. Some of the others that have been in my live training. I tell you to talk to yourself, to tell the story of what's going on on the chart, okay? So let's look at this right now. Let's, I'll do some drawing in there as well. Um, okay. So on this move up here, okay? That's probably the wrong color. Let's just get rid of that. Let's just change that to pink. Okay. On this move up here, we hit the resistance zone. Okay. Good, strong, bullish trend. Look at, I actually use in my bias indicator as well from my bits down at the bottom, showing a good, strong, bullish trend. This is the one minute on ES. I get a short signal here on the roller coaster. I'm pretty much mainly bullish bias here. <coughs> it's not really hit a proper support and resistance zone, so I'm really not gonna take this short. Then it hits it right here, okay? We start to come down. This is looking pretty good. I get the roller coaster entry here, okay? I've got a long way down to the, to the next support and resistance zone. Stop loss is here. 
if it's too big a trade for me on the on the on the mini, I'll go micro, two or three contracts, and then we get the entry at two seven eight seven point five. Trading stop is taken out at two seven six five. Okay, that's a lot of ticks, guys, on the one minute. And it never really tests that trading stop until we get through this. We did get clustering around that support and resistance zone. That's normal. Okay. But it, then it did push through. We come back and took out the trading stop. So again, it's about telling the story. I get a short signal here. It didn't really hit any decent resistance zones. This is the resistance zone I'm interested in. Down at the bottom, I'm bullish buyers from a bits. What am I going to do? If it hits there, I'm saying to myself, and it starts to come back down, this could be a good looking trade here. Okay, so, and it did, and that's what happened. Yeah, right, let's clear all those. Okay. Let's move that back over to where it belongs. Hopefully I've got the stocks one still open, have I? Yes, okay. Just gonna get the stocks, scanner to see what is on there so we have a smart stock scanner now for the roller coaster i did do a webinar for that it's going on the website soon for people to watch um, but it, what it does it gives you new signals but also the signals that are still in like roku for example or um, paypal or whatever it is if they're still in and the trailing stop is being changed and printed, that's the trade there, okay? It gives you the trailing stop position. So these are all the stocks that have either got valid signals right now for longs on the daily time frame for swing trading or new ones with a little lightning flash, okay? So I'm going to have a couple of look at those there now. CODX. Wow, that, tr that actually did trigger today. That's a great looking trade, guys. Really is. What's the volume been like on that just recently? I bet this is high volume. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So let's talk through this again. Cheap stock. CODX, the entry was at $10. It was printed on our, we, this is actually now available and live as well. CODX here, long $10, stop 556. Okay, you risk $1,000 here. Again, if I want to put a risk to reward, I'm going to use a FIB extension. I go to the low, okay, the 556, round about there. Click once. I go to the entry. $10, there, there or thereabouts, click twice, click a third time, I get my risk to reward. The next resistance zone really is the top of the wave three there, okay? I've got a great risk reward on this stock. It's nice and cheap, it's already at one to one. If I'd have risked $1,000 today, I'd have got the entry and I'm now at $900 profit already, okay? And that's going to gap up tomorrow, I can tell. And also now, this presents me, I've got an even bigger target than that wave three. I potentially got a wave five. I can use this as a trading stops being printed to actually trail this to see if it can reach that fifth wave target zone. So I've combined both there. The signal came from the roller coaster from our smart stock scanner. Uh, it's saying there is a roller coaster trade. This came out last night. Uh, so when we woke up this morning, this was one of the stocks. It says go long at ten dollars. Yeah, go long at ten dollars. There's the stop loss. You work out your risk reward. Is there anything in the way? There's a little bit in the way just here at about sixteen dollars, but that's a one to one point five risk reward. Really, really good. Uh, good looking trade. Bit of fresh air up there, and it's a great trade already. I mean, if someone's day traded that today, that's a pretty good trade already. You know, it's the $900 get out just before the close. But for me, closing near the high, that's fantastic. That's going to gap up tomorrow and go. VZ. Okay, we're, yeah, we're doing roller coaster today, Trevor. 
RAD was another one on the smart stock scanner. That's not triggered today. That was the signal yesterday, and then we got the gap down today with large volume. So that's not triggered. Not a problem. There's only more that are new-ish. Have a look. AMD looks like that started printing. Yeah. Okay. So we we worked on this the other day on the. Um, there's a work on this already, as you can see. So AMD, <clears throat> we had the entry here on the roller coaster. We had a risk to reward of one to one, just over to this pivot point high here, entry 47.49. In fact, we did this, we set this up guys. If any of you attended Monday's webinar that I did for the smart stock scanner, we set this up, okay? Uh, and this is gone, okay? The trading stop is now printed if we go big here. So we were risk-free yesterday, today this is where it is. We're approaching some resistance here could pull back. Friday, tomorrow, take your profit, get out and run. Okay, nothing's ever black and white. Remember that a trading indicator is a tool, okay? Uh, like, um, I don't know, a, a joiner, a, a guy that works with, with wood. He buys tools, he invests in tools for his business, his business yeah, his joinery business. As long as those tools are making him money and he's getting a return on investment for that money, it's a tool that he's going to maintain, he's going to keep, and he's going to use. Okay, And it's the same with a trading indicator. But it's only one tool in your toolbox. Yeah, You cannot follow anybody or anything blindly. Okay, I have an inner circle of traders that trade with me every single day, and they never follow me blindly. They, they shout out trades as well, and I might say no. I might say yes, we did today. You know, we, we um, I think Dave called out gold because I didn't see it. We traded it short. Uh, I think uh, we had uh, Margaret called out ES and we had a great short on ES today. Uh, so, you know, it's, you can't just rely on one thing. Support and resistance zones, channels, what's going off the markets, what are the correlations like? Some of the correlations have been totally wacko just recently. You know, usually when ES is going up, the dollar goes up. Not these last few weeks, guys. When ES has been going down, the dollar's been going up and everything's all out of place, but you need to understand what's going off the markets as well. well uh, an indicator suite like the roller coaster is a great starting point. You still need to understand what's going off. What's the behavior of the markets? What's the behavior of the US dollar? Okay, most of you are in the US, most of you are trading either futures or US stocks, you really need to understand what's going on for that US dollar, okay? That is your cornerstone. Uh, you know, what are those other correlations like? 6B at the moment, if ES is going up, 6B is going up. That's not normal, but that's what's happening right now. So this is a great looking trade, AMD, we are risk free on that one right now. ATOS as well, looks like it's just gone. Uh, Risk-free as well. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Good. We had a fifth wave down. Uh, we had a roller coaster down that eventually took out the profit, and then we're going long. Not a fantastic risk to reward there, guys. But, the, you know, one of the things I look at with swing trading in stocks, it's not like futures. You've got every single day to make a decision. So when I put this big resistance zone on here, okay, I've got to look at my risk reward. I didn't trade this because the risk reward wasn't good enough. Okay, so I've got the criteria for a long. My risk to reward is 1 to 0 0.8 to that resistance zone. Not really, really good. But like I said in the, the, the webinar the other day, usually, usually, when you get to start to approach the 50% line, okay, we start 
the, the, the roller coaster starts to print these trailing stops. This is now risk free, okay? So when I say the risk reward, if I've got around about a one to one on a stock, I will go, okay? It's different on day trading futures. You need a one to one to 1 1.5, one to 1 1.6. You need a good risk reward. But be aware, once you know you get to that 1 to 0 0.5, in a lot of cases, those trading stops are very close to becoming break even. And that's where uh, then you are risk free in this particular trade. Okay, so it's a good looking trade. These moving averages are part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite uh, BG. So these are the six four moving average high and low. They're part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. There's no other moving averages on there. So these moving averages you see here, these are part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. I've got both indicator suites on there at the same time, that's all. Hope that answers that question. BZ pound in heavy. No, there's no roller coaster there. Not on the daily. Okay, guys, these these sessions are few as well. So if you've got if you're a user of the roller coaster. And somebody says they still haven't mastered it yet. Ask your questions. Let me answer. Let's look for examples. What what didn't work for you? Let's see if we can solve it. You know, we've got you know 15, 20 minutes left yet. If you've had a problem or you've had some losing trades, even if it was today, you know, let's have a look and let me understand. Let's try and understand. It does, Gary works with tick charts as well. Yeah. Remember, it's a combination of the MACD, stochastic cross, and then three points of control. And by the way, guys, at the end of this month, the 19% um, discount is going, okay? The 19% discount is going. At the moment, the HELP19, because of COVID-19 is the, you can use that coupon code on anything, memberships, um, courses, indicator suites, anything. You get 19% off that first subscription period, whether you go yearly or whatever. Okay. So that help 19 will disappear at the end of this month. I've made that decision uh, and that's going to go. We've helped a lot of people out. We've got, probably 100 new users um, since we put the Help 19 on at least. So we've helped a lot of people out. Uh, please, if you're thinking of getting the roller coaster suite or anything else, Help 19 is the one, is the coupon code to use at checkout uh, to get that 90%. That is going, I can guarantee it, at the end of this month. Because okay? we've helped a lot of people out there and we, I've still got to pay salaries and everything. So I need to get back to normal price. <clears throat> so anybody got any questions for me guys come on this is the time you know this is a strategy that i've been trading for years and managed to find some geek to actually make it into an indicator suite i understand it so well you've got to ask me these questions if you've had a failure let's try and work it out okay uh we had somebody today uh, and i'm going to get back to the to him next week he's had it for three days and it and, and he's had a couple of losing trades and he's not got a lot of confidence. I need to understand what he's doing. Is he looking in linear support resistance zones? Has he got the channels on there? How is he trading it? What time frame? What's he trading? There's lots of things that go in there. Uh, you know, like I said before, this is a tool. If you use it correctly, it's a very, very valuable tool. Even if you spent $500 a year, I've made more than $500 today in one trade. Okay. And that was trading micros. Roller coaster just by itself. Okay, so let's go to let's bring over the version on here. 
we'll go futures es so this is the um trading view version okay go to gold one minute use the trades here so this is so there is nothing else on the chart okay this is why it keeps the chart clean and you can add on the other indicator suites to it there is nothing else on the chart whatsoever okay 6j we've just had a signal I've got no live data on this so we can't see it um, gold on 15 minutes So it is very, very clean, okay? Very, very clean. Nothing else on the chart. There's no stochastic, there's no MACD, there's no moving averages. All we print is the stop, the entry. So when this candle closed, a little red arrow, we've got the green entry, we've got the stop. You enter the trade. As I said before, this is a support resistance zone. Came up, came back down again, and then started to print the trading stop. As each 15 minute candle closes, you just need to adjust your trading stop. It's that simple. Okay. James, yeah, let's have a look on the uh, on silver. Three minute, did you say? This morning. I'm trying to look where we are this morning. It's probably the bits, unless this is a different. Uh... There's a bit of a long there, but I don't, uh, I don't see that trade. But then again, this is different data, so it might be slightly skew with. There's the five minute. That's there. The there the shorts on silver. <clears throat> yeah, bits was the main, but there again, I use sometimes I use a roller coaster. If I've got a bits trade, I'll use a roller coaster to actually trail it as well. So I like to use them both to trail. There's good trades on silver today. Some good shorts there, two great shorts and a long. That was a hundred percent win rate, is it not? This was 10 a.m. European time this morning. And tr the trading stop was taken out of break even. Short, lunchtime, yeah, trading stop taken out. Profit. Short then, this is half an hour before the open, US Open, trading stop taken out. Long, trading stop taken out. Julia, the online courses, okay. On the website, if you go to online courses there. Oh, not, sorry, courses, not online classes. Okay, I'll put that link in there. Plus, also, you can uh, join me next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, for the whole weekend training, core training strategy, live, online. It won't be a chat like this, be sharing the screen, but you'll be able to talk to me, ask me questions, it'll be interactive. Um, you know, I think Gary, you're coming to that, it's in here, there's Matt, there's quite a few others. Uh, next, 25th, 26th, that is. Um, bear with me a second, and I'll give you the link for that to book. Plus also, when I'm allowed to fly back into the US, those that attend this weekend will be able to attend in New York as well. So bear with me while I give you that link. Just there. Yes, Gary, it will have a ding ding. Yes, definitely. Okay, so 25th, 26th, New York live training. I had my flights booked and everything, hotel and everything, but I can't make it because of COVID-19. 
So I'm doing it live online and then double dip when I'm able to come out to New York to do it again. So that is a great looking, uh, it's a good course. Um, I know quite a few people in here have already been on one of the, on some of the, one of them or two of them. I know Daryl has. Let um, me have a look who else has been. Anybody else? Um, trying to look. Rob's been on one of the course on that live training course. Uh, yeah, at least two of these people in this. Uh, Rob and Daryl have been in on my come to spend some time with me, do some trial live training. Uh, but that is, uh, that is, I'm teaching you everything. Yeah. Core trading strategy all the way through, uh, trend behavior, how to trade it and everything, absolutely everything. Okay. I don't think I've got Canadian stock, Steve, but we can have a look to see if I can get some. Okay. So they're the links that you need. And yes, the smart list does go ding ding when you get the when you get the um, where did it go? I've lost it again. So what happens is, obviously you've got to have them open, but you can you can actually when when you're in the membership area, you you click um, to to move it out, so you can have the one, the two, all of them moving. But when you get a, a new signal, did you hear the ding dings? That's what you get. You get the ding dings and the lightning. Okay. Did you hear it? Go back to 15. Do I know whether good? You might do it again now. <laughs> okay. So you get the ding dings. So Canadian stocks, I don't know whether you can do them on here. Uh, stock, give me a ticker. Steve, M. So roller coaster for JT, which uh, platform have you got? Think or swim? Oh, I, I tell you, it's easier just to send you to the trading software page. Okay. I'll put that in the chat and then you can go and get, uh, you can choose your platform, whether it's Motive Wave, Think or Swim, MT4, Ninja Trader, Training View, Trade Station, Multi Charts. And don't forget to use the, um, the coupon code HELP19 to get 19% off. So Canadian stock. Somebody asked me for Canadian stock. I need a ticker, guys. I don't know Canadian stocks. RY. I don't know whether that will work on Royal Bank of Canada. There you go. Let's go daily. Oh, wow. Okay, that was an amazing short there. Okay, no long signal there yet, uh, but that was a great short. Just below $104, trading stock was taken out $89. Fantastic short there. Let's just go on a 240 a minute. Yeah, it's just printed along there, but I think I'd wait for the daily because we've gone very rangy here. That was a good looking short though, wasn't it? T-H-E, woo! You should be short that one. Hopefully short on that, Steve, because that was a great looking short back from, it triggered 24th of Feb and it's still short now. It's had some gap ups here though, so I'd be very careful. I'd be getting out if you were short there. Does that help, Steve? Okay, how do I decide the best time frame? It's about finding the groove. So I'm going to give you a link to an article. 
and bear with me a second. It's on the blog because I, obviously I spent a lot of time writing this article so, so I'd like you to read it and understand that it's there to help people learn. So it's called Getting in the Groove Roller Coaster. It's about finding the right time frame, okay? It's called Getting in the Groove. I'll put that link there. Okay, so I'm going to try one more and then we'll go and see what's, what's what in, the, in a groove, yeah? <clears throat> Wow. Obviously, you, you don't go short on gold when gold's going really long. This is a gold stock, obviously. That is pretty. It's a four hour. Oh, it's not very groovy. Hourly. Sort of groovy there. We get some good win rates. Can't see anything before. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Wow. Obviously, gold's going well. Oh, yes, it's pushing up even more now. Wow. Okay. Sorry, just saw that at the corner of my eye. You've got to re ride them to the stops, Trevor. You've got to ride them to the stops or go break even. Okay. Right. Let's just talk about that right now. Okay, we're talking, we are sensible people here. Okay, if we went short ABX here, and we got this little, this here. Now, this is a little bit basic, but this is trading 101. What is that candlestick pattern there? Anybody? This big red candle and the little green candle. What is that? That is a bullish harami, okay? So what do you do? You move your stop to break even. Yes? That makes sense? There is indecision there. That's right, Al, okay? You've had a big move down, and then you've got this contraction, but it's bullish, so it could burst. What did it do the next day? It gapped down to here but then engulfed that next candle to give us a bullish engulfing. Did, didn't take the trading stop out for break even, but Lord, honestly, there's so many signs there that that's going to reverse. You need to be getting out, okay? So again, it's a tool to get in a trade. You still need to understand what's going off, okay? And to me, this is pretty obvious, yeah? We had the nice move down. We've got this indecision. For me, if that indecision is broken to the upside, I'm out there the next day. It gapped down. Guess what? I flattened it. Yeah? I don't mind flattening. If it gaps down to here and bounces, I'm going to get out. That's a massive trade. Okay? So it's not about... <clears throat> everything failing, it's about you having the right judgment calls as well. So let's just clear all of those out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Still not right. <coughs> okay, let me go to Forex, something different, okay? Because I want to talk about looking for the groove, yeah? So I'm going to start at the four hour time frame. Forex, uh, and makes currency futures. This, when we look at a, I don't know, uh, let's go back pretty much all of 2020. Yep. Yeah? And this is how I find the groove. What's, what's in the groove? What time frame? So if I'm looking at longer term on currencies, whether this is 6E or the euro US dollar, pretty much the same thing, really. Okay, I'm going to look. I'm going to look for my winners. Okay, this year, we've had a short, the trading stop was taken out, winner. Okay, this is a loser, let's leave that for a minute. Winner, 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 and that's still in. Okay, 
we've had one bad trade all year and that loser was there okay would you say gary 6e or euro us dollar on the four hour is in the groove for the roller coaster absolutely so what time frame you're going to keep an eye on for longer term swings on 6e or the euro us dollar that you know that's in the groove that's how to do it okay let's take those off let's look for day traders now let's go three minutes on euro us dollar okay let's look over the last couple of days uh, okay i should probably let's just do it let's do the job Let's look for the losers first. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I wanted to do that. Okay, so. Uh, uh, uh. Trying to look for losers. It's a loser. 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 Okay, so quite a lot of losers in there. So the euro US dollar last few, last couple of days, not good for day trading on the three minute time frame. Would you agree? Okay, so let's have a look at it on the fifth. Oops, just stop one second. Let's look at it on the five minute time frame. Is it performing a little better? Less trades. What's the win, win rate? Okay. There's no science to this, guys. It's just basically understanding what's going off, looking left. Okay, winner, 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 winner. Not big winners, but then we got a big winner, and now we're in a winner. Five minutes better than three minutes. Yep. <laughs> it's that quick, okay? And But if you are trading a specific currency pair, or a, uh, a futures contract, you need the one, the two, the three, the five, the 15, the 30, the 60 minute charts open all the time. And then you'll be able to see that. Some people just trade Euro US dollar, that's all they trade, okay? And if they've got six monitors, they'll have different time frames in those monitors. If they've got a roller coaster on there, they will be able to spot what's in the groove and what's not, okay? What's hot and what's not. Okay, guys, I'm going to get going because it's nearly 1 a.m. here, and it's been a long day for me because I've been trading European morning and the U.S., so it's been a very long day. Anybody got any last questions before I go? You're very welcome. Don't forget, guys, HELP19 is the uh, discount code, uh, and it is going at the end of the month. I will try, James, definitely. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Well, go and get it, Gary. Go and get it. Get the 19% discount right now. Cheers, Steve. Cheers, everybody. Don't forget, if you want to get the roller coaster or any other, you go to the trading software page, which looks like this. Okay. You can look at the videos for each one, Elliott Wave, Bits, Roller Coaster, and then select the platform that you use. So if you use Think or Swim, you go through there, and then you can click on Subscribe Now for Roller Coaster. It's really, really simple. Now, I'm in, uh, I live in the south of Spain, Julia. I haven't lived in the UK for, for since 2004. So I live in the south of Spain. Yeah, where the sun is. Uh, Gary, it's very difficult. They don't allow third party developers at the moment for interactive uh, brokers. If they did, we'd, we'd do it. You know, we do it for TradingView, NinjaTrader, MetaTrader 4, Thinkorswim, Multicharts, TradeStation, and MotiveWave. Okay, if we if we had a, an in, 
who were able to develop for interactive brokers, we would develop it um, because we, we have the skill set to do it. So, um, you know, if there is a way and you know a way, please email me, uh, paul at tradethefifth.com, and we'll look into it, definitely. Gary, no, you don't need to do any prep for next weekend. Just turn up, okay? Make sure you've got a notebook at hand, but it will be recorded. Those that attend next weekend's training live, it will be recorded and you'll be able to look back over it. And obviously, I'll meet all of you again uh, in New York when I fly over when Mr. Trump will let people in from Spain. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, for me, my week is over. I only trade uh, Mondays to Thursdays. Friday for me now is a rest day. Uh, so I will catch you all really soon. Thanks very much for coming tonight and uh, uh, stay safe, everybody. <laughs>